everyone, it's Nikki and welcome to Create Make Decorate. Hey, if you love French country style, you're going to love this craft. I'm going to show you how you can take a simple terracotta pot and turn it into an absolutely beautiful, rustic, French country style pot that will look absolutely beautiful in your home. What I'm using for this craft is about a medium sized terracotta pot, but you can do this on any size that you would like. I'm gonna use some Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss, and here I'm just using some white acrylic paint that I'm watering down. And uh, you're also gonna need to head on over to the graphicsfairy.com and print out some of these printables that I got here. Uh, you're gonna look into the French typography category and just kind of search them around there. To create this kind of aged and weathered look, you really wanna make sure that you're using watered down paint. The terracotta pots are very porous, so it really wants to absorb that paint. So as you can see, I'm spraying water on it and then applying my already watered down paint to it. And we're gonna kind of like Mr. Miyagi style it. We're gonna paint on and rub off, like wax on, wax off. We're gonna paint on and uh, rub off because you really want those undertones of the terracotta pot to be able to come through. I'm gonna be layering different colors on here. So I'm grabbing my Waverly uh, paint in the color moss and I'm using a sea sponge to go ahead and apply it to the bottom there. And again, you want to, you don't want a solid coverage here. You wanna make sure that those underneath tones and colors are coming through. So this kind of creates the look of maybe like it was sitting in a mossy, you know, uh, grass or something like that. And uh, just really adding some different textures to it, which just looks so absolutely beautiful. So I went ahead and applied it all around the pot. And once that was dry, I grabbed my Waverly Antique Wax and did the same technique, kind of just more along the bottom portion of it. You'll see here in just a minute, I go ahead and I kind of apply it all over the pot, uh, again, just to add more of that uh, weathered, rustic look. It's all about layering the different colors on here that just create such a beautiful piece. And it's really all about just having fun as you're doing it kind of just, you know, getting it to your liking. Remember, there is really no right or wrong way to do it. You just kind of mess with it to get the uh, look that you're looking for. So as you can see, I'm just taking more of that antique wax and just kind of rubbing it all over the pot uh, and just giving it more of that aged antique and rustic look. Next up, again, you're gonna wanna go over to the graphicsfairy.com and you're gonna wanna get some of her free printables over there. Do be warned that you're gonna spend some time there because there are so many cool things over on her website. But what you want to make sure that you do is when you print out your, your piece, that you've uh, decided you wanna use that you have it reversed. So you're gonna print it out looking backwards to create this technique here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some Mod Podge and you're gonna apply it to your pot. Next, you're gonna take your reversible uh, printable and you're gonna go ahead and lay that directly on top of your Mod Podge uh, while it's still wet and you're just gonna go ahead and smooth it down. I will note that not all of the images are reversible, so kind of search in the DIY projects and kind of look and see which ones are reversible. You'll notice as you scroll down and you're getting ready to print. 
So what you're gonna do is allow this to completely dry, I would say a good couple of hours. Her website recommends about 24 hours. I let this dry for about two hours and it, it worked fine. So you're just gonna take a water bottle and uh, wet that uh, the printable and just go ahead and rub it off very lightly. I'm just using a paper towel. You can see how easily it wipes right off but it, it creates this uh, transfer image that is just beautiful. I just love the way it looks. It, it looks like it's just been on there for years. And to finish it off, I just added some more of that Waverly Antique Wax just to make sure that everything is nice and blended and uh, just absolutely beautiful. Next, I'm gonna show you a couple different ones that I made. I made one on a smaller pot as well. And just to share with you how I went ahead and used them in my decor. Uh, I love these pots, you guys. They just turned out so stunning, so beautiful, and they really look like they came from a high-end boutique. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and please make sure that you're following me along over at createmakedecorate.com. Thank you so much for watching. You all have a wonderful and blessed day.